What is going on guys, this is your boy Base Junior, and before I get started with today's video, I just want to let you guys know, uh, the reason why I won't uploading is because I was sick and I still got something wrong with my ear, I don't know what it is, it's like clogged and I can't like unclog it, I'm probably going to have to go to the doctor for it, uh, but uh, today I am doing another Carnivore Club taste test uh, review or just taste test uh, they basically are a meat subscription service and they basically uh, every month give you like the best meats uh, from like around the world and stuff like that uh, the last time I had like a whole bunch of Italian uh, sausage I think and this time I don't know what I'm getting uh, because it's, it's kind of like loot crate but for meat um, so anyways let's get right on into it um, oh, <laughs> okay, the box is obviously nice, uh, I guess this is like little paper film, ooh, look at this, okay, I'm not gonna, uh, say the names, because I just don't know the names, uh, but this looks like it's dry salami, that's what it says, uh, I'm gonna try to show you guys the names, maybe you can pronounce it if you want, there you go, <laughs> Um, it looks pretty nice. Obviously, I'm gonna try it. Uh, but, uh, there's the second one. Uh, apparently, it's all dried salami, I'm thinking. Uh, and then this one, actually, I think I might be able to. Yeah, bourbon and bacon. That's pretty cool. Let's see. There you go. Uh, and then, now I don't know why this is what I. It's it's a mole. That's what it says. Ugh. Crap. Okay, it, it says mole, guys, and, and then after after that it says dry salami. Um, <clears throat> and then you get a whole bunch of uh, pamphlets talking about uh, the meats. Um, um, I think another pamphlet talking about more meats. Uh, oh, there's actually more. I didn't even notice it. Okay. And then you got, uh, this, so you can read it, there you go, I'm pretty sure you can, uh, this is, uh, dry cured beef, uh, and then this is copa, <laughs> dried cured pork. So the one thing that I just noticed when I was looking at all the packages is, it says New England charcuterie, yeah, it's charcuterie. Um, but yeah, it's basically New England themed. Uh, so, uh, let's just get right on into it. And by the way, I just learned that word back in Atlanta, uh, when I went last week, because I actually, uh, had a charcuterie, uh, dish, uh, at this random hotel. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I don't know where to cut it. Hopefully these scissors, okay, it does work. I was about to say, hopefully these scissors actually work. I didn't want to use a knife. And yes, these are little kid scissors. <laughs> Hopefully I opened it. I don't think I opened it, did I? Oh my god. <laughs> hey, give me a minute. Alright guys, here we go. Here we go. I'm just getting a piece. Hmm. There's a lot of fat on, on this particular piece. Hold on. I don't know what I'm tasting other than the actual pork. Let's see the ingredients. It's pork shoulder, salt, um, paprika, um, coriander, I think that's how you say it, black paper, or pep, black pepper, orange zest, cayenne pepper, bay leaf, sodium nitrate, sodium nitrate. It says it twice. Um, does it taste good? To be honest with you, yes. If I had to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd have to give it a 7. Because it doesn't taste like the pork I usually eat. And I'm not used to it. That's probably why I'm probably giving it a 7. Anyways, let's get on into the others. Okay, this is the dry cured beef. Anyways, let's get right on into it. Ugh, this should just taste like, uh, like, like beef jerky, so. 
texture is nothing like beef jerky. <laughs> oh my god. I think I said beef wrong, but whatever. That is very good. All these meats are very, very thin and tender. That's really good. I like this one. Which I like the other one too. But I'm more familiar with this type of flavor. Mmm. That is good. That is really good. Mmm. Very good. Um, ingredients. Huh? Beef eye of round. <laughs> I hope, I hope not. That's not what it is. Um, salt, black pepper. Um, turbinado. Alright, I'm just gonna say sugar. Uh, dextrose, juniper berry, coriander, thymine, rosemary, uh, sodium nitrate, and then sodium nitrate again. Yeah? Um, if I rate this one, this one would probably be, uh, Mmm, probably an 8. I like this one slightly more than I like the, uh, the pork. Okay, I'm kind of scared about this one. Uh, it says ghost chili. Uh, I, I don't know if that means it's gonna be hot or not. Uh, but, uh, oh man. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, almost dropped it. But we're good. I got him. Okay, I'm gonna just peel it back and take a bite. Because why not? Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> False alarm. False alarm. Okay. It's not that hot. Just have a slight spice to it, but I thought it was about to kick in fully. I was like, oh no. But then it kind of went away. This one is very, very good though. Um, the ingredients are pork, salt, uh, it says less than 1% of the following coca, chipotle chili, ghost chili, garlic, um, clove, uh, Lactic acid, start a culture, dextrose, water, sodium nitrate, and this is sodium nitrate again. Oh my god. Ah. Um. This one, if I had to rate it. Um. I'd probably give it an 8. Um. Like I said, I've, I've never really had any meats like this before. So it's kind of, you know, weird to me. <laughs> But, um, it's definitely not bad tasting, that's for sure. Alright, there you go. This is one trying next. Uh, hopefully it tastes good. Let's do it. And as you see, this is like uncut. I'm opening it for the very first time. So this is like live reaction stuff right here. Hey, here we go. Alright, oh. oh. God. <laughs> hmm. Very mild. Very mild. Um, it's, the ingredients are pork, salt, white wine, less than one percent of the following garlic, black pepper. Lactic acid, starter culture, dextrose water, sodium nitrate, this is sodium nitrate again. Um, it's very mild. To be honest, it's even more mild than like pepperoni that you put on pizza. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what to rate this. Honestly, I'd put this on my pizza for sure. But I'd probably have to add, like, salt or pepper or something like that to it. Um, but, uh, yeah. I give this 
You know what? I'll give this an 8. Okay, this is what I'm trying now. Um, it looks very greasy from what it looks like. Uh, hopefully it tastes good now. I don't care if it's greasy. Okay. Hopefully my... Okay. Hopefully my freaking scissors aren't greasy. Okay. Ooh, that is really greasy. Mm. Okay. Oh, hmm. oh, 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 very interesting. Very greasy or juicy. Um, because ingredients are pork, red wine, salt, garlic, smoked paprika, less, less than 1% of the following. Cayenne pepper, chili flake, lactic acid, starter culture, dextrose water, sodium nitrate, sodium nitrate, and contains sulfites. This one, honestly, is probably the most calm flavor out of the ones I've had so far. But it's very, very greasy, as you can tell by my lips. Mmm. Very weird, but I'm just not used to all the grease, to be honest with you. Um, but if I had to rate the actual flavor, honestly, I have to say this one's the best one yet. I give it an 8.5. But uh, let's get on to the very last one. Okay, I'm excited for this one for real. This is bourbon and bacon. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just read the uh, ingredients real quick. It says pork, bacon. Uh, pork belly, salt, brown, sugar, white pepper, sodium nitrate, ghost chili, bourbon whiskey. Ooh, I'm gonna get drunk. <laughs> uh, salt, less than 1% of the following mustard seed, ginger, garlic, black pepper, lactic acid, starter culture, dextrose water, sodium nitrate, sodium nitrate. Anyways, let's get on into the very last one. By the way, guys, everything that I hear is very muffled, especially when I talk, it's very muffled. So if I, uh, am stuttering or anything like that and I don't know it, that's, that's why my ears all screwed up. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take me a good piece. Oh, this one's pretty, this one's pretty greasy too. Okay. Alright, there we go. Mmm. Obviously, I don't know what whiskey tastes like, <laughs> but I feel like that has a, uh, a very good part in this. Um, hmm. Oh, I'm not used to <laughs> God, I am not used to this at all. Hmm. Um. Be honest, I can't taste the bacon. Um, if I, <laughs> oh my god, I'm not used to this at all. Um, if I had to rate this, um, I don't know what to rate it, guys. Um, this is probably not my favorite one, to be honest with you. I'm probably gonna have to give it like. I don't know, like, a 7 or something, I don't know, I'm just not used to it, um, guys, I want to thank, uh, Carnivore Club for sending this out, uh, thank you guys so much, for real, uh, you didn't have to do that, um, <coughs> oh my god, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, thank you for sending it out, guys, if you want to check out their stuff, um, the link will be in the description to their website, <laughs> Uh, they send out, like, the most, like, fancy meats and stuff like that. So, you know, if you like fancy stuff, go check it out. Especially if it's food and meat. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, guys, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and, oh, yeah, peace out.